First, the headlines. Govindas Kontaujam resigns from Manipur Assembly. Chief Minister launches free treatment center for hepatitis B. And 46 bird traps and 8 bird nets were seized by staff of Kapching Range. Good evening. Welcome to LA TV English News. This is Utpala Konsam. Before giving you the news, we request you to follow the SOP given by the government, wear face masks when out in public, wash hands regularly, and maintain a minimum of six feet distance between one person and another. LA TV requests you to get vaccinated in time to protect ourselves from this virus and play your part in the fight against COVID-19. Now let's take a look at the news in detail. Former Chief Secretary O. Nabukishore today launched, lashed out at MLA Govindas Kontaujam's resignation from his MLA post just to gain his own benefit and said, a representative of the people who thinks only of his own benefit while the people of his constituency are suffering at this COVID pandemic is no more worthy to represent its people. In his video release today, the former Chief Secretary who recently joined BJP continued that as Govindas had ruined all his trust from his own party after Sonia Gandhi appointed him the president of MPCC with the trust and belief by removing M. Okendro from his MPCC president post and questions which another party trusts is he going to ruin again. <laughs> The Matin Venova, Madu Sinagra, Sinadribra, the Draga Madu Sinada, Sinadana, Masi Pashazi, Makana Mataragadi, Mangi Pisikanagino, Bishnupur Kendrigi, Dalariba, Pajasingi, among money. Adana, Mara Torkli, but Tabak Kodimuxi, Pajagi interest Nate, Masagi, Rajni Tigiva, Kong Tanga, Kudung Java, Tiduna Lakoni, Pajamayam, Mikap Topa, Madame Mure, Equi with Haza Vase, Mahalo Idagi. This day observance, Chief Minister Nongthom Bambirin Singh today inaugurated model treatment centers at RIMS and Genims to treat hepatitis B patients free of cost. Chief Minister N. Birin Singh also handed over 10 mobile X-ray machines and 20 multi-para monitors to be utilized at the ICUs of each district hospital. Speaking on the occasion organized by State Health Society, National Health Mission at Chief Minister Secretariat, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh said that the model treatment centers inaugurated on this World Hepatitis Day observed every year on the birthday of Nobel Prize awardee scientist Dr. Baruch Bloomberg will benef be beneficial to the hepatitis B patients as well as will help to curb the disease. The National Viral Hepatitis Control Program launched by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India in 2018, aims to eliminate viral hepatitis by 2030, the Chief Minister continued. Hepatitis B patient many put of the Dorten screen door of 29,414 labor. Hepatitis C then 35,036, out of which 1,519 found positive, and 1,225 undergoing treatment. 861 completed treatment. Treatment has not been done. The first thing is that the treatment center has not been done. The treatment center has not been done. The treatment center has not been done. The The 46 bird traps and 8 bird nets were seized by staff of Kakching Range, Palel and Waikom Beat Office today at Lamjao Maning Lake in a drive taken up as part of World Nature Conservation Day. However, the culprits that set the traps managed to escape on a boat. 
talking to the press in connection to the drive. Range Forest Officer Kakching N. Munal Maite said, Manipur is still lacking in saving and protecting the environment and animals. He further said, the natural, unnatural rain in China that lasted three days measured 617.2 millimeters, more than half of the usual rain in Manipur. If it rained that much in Manipur, the whole land would be underwater. He appealed to the people to unite and save the environment and avoid such disasters by planting trees and conserving animals for the future generations. Hari bawa tahu asing mana pura tuh mata arah bawa ikut ikut mak asing mana lulu lama ni, atau nak ikut na hari bawa bau sagi, kudung tiba asing asing kalung na wita makta sauce sauce asing asing suai ikut bau sagi part ini part ini, wah itu ki, mungkin yang bawa perkiti na ikut itu bawa kudung ni, atau na sauce kambinasi lama masih ki ikut environment juga kambinasi hari bawa asing ngasi ikut lakjari asing na media gitu muda, mayang dah betul betul. A mass COVID-19 vaccination program was held today at Ibu Dhau Yangoi Ningtho Community Hall in Taubul under Bishnupur District jointly organized by COVID Task Force, Taubul, Taubul Gram Panchayat, Taubul Apunba Maira Paibi Lup, Health and Wellness Center of Taubul and other organizations. Around 300 individuals were vaccinated at the program today. Former member of Gaikong Kolel Zila Parishat, TH Bira, Taubul Gram Panchayat Ward member, TH Gopal and other officials were present at the program. TH Bira said 2,800 people at Tawul village have been vaccinated as part of the mass vaccination initiative of Manipur Chief Minister N. Birin Singh. He also appealed to the people of Manipur to get vaccinated at the earliest. Kwarakpam Robin, Robin Singh, member of National Executive Committee today, appealed to Amit Shah, Union Home Minister of India, to include the history, art and culture, sports, living standards of northeastern states in all the educational syllabus of NCRT, educational boards and university levels of Indian states. In his appeal, Cage Robin mentioned the racial discrimination faced by northeast people in mainland India and that Northeasterners are recognized and shown love only when they achieve something and bring glory to the country. Kate Robin further appealed to the Union Minister to make aware about the Northeastern states through the Indian educational syllabus so that peace may prevail among the people of the country and reduce crime rates in metropolitan cities. The intending candidate of BJP Sugnu Assembly constituency for the upcoming 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly election, Kwarakpam Iboyama, today distributed around 300 bags of fertilizers to the farmers of Wangu Tera Nupa Marup of Wangu Tera Kong, Ma Kong, Kong Makong, Ward Number 13-3. Iboyama distributed the fertilizers at government subsidy rate, including transportation charges at low price. The farmers appreciated Cage Iboyama for distributing the fertilizers at a low price. Upon Masida, Hargi Polum of the Atate Matinez, Mayama, Lomi, a son of a polum sing, Lomi, the Mokta can be done. Hari Box of Senwakari, Yabung Iboyama, Sibu, Koylamu Pazagi, Makedegi, Hanging a letter of Hong Pudokari, Amadi, Isorna Mahapu. Tahu 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 bagus dalam kerja makta. Isu orang tu jangan bimbang. Isu no. Sugunu kender tu suh election kerja tu hanap. Kena kerja. Aiyi kakak kerja pun ibu ayam na. Hal pubi tu no perda singgah sini bersih. Aku yang menunggu aje. Aku ini hari bah. Sosial wak B J P ke sosial wak kerja na. Tahu 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 bagus dalam kerja makta. Aiyi mai paku. Isu no hari na aku ini isu orang dah. Aku ini perda mai ayam na aku ini tak tahu lagi. Political activist Sapam Kanglaipal Maitai today distributed agricultural water pump sets to more than 50 farmers of Lamlai Assembly constituency. The water pump sets was distributed to the farmers farming at Trisen Phai and Uran Chiru village, including Sanasabi, Thamna Pokpi, Sabung Kong, Saijang Telo, Chingnung Kong, Kok, Nongada, Napet, Nongdam, Chalo, Pungdombam, Yurabong, and Kambongput, etc. Social and cultural activist and former film producer Rakesh Naurem distributed 5 kilograms of rice each to 30 families of different villages of Tentha under Wangjing Tentha Assembly constituency who are positive 
COVID-19 positive, as well as families of differently abled persons and people suffering from cancer, heart and kidney diseases and other chronic diseases. He mentioned the need of a separate health minister to cope with the COVID-19 situation in the state. The program was attended by writer Maibam Premujit, active serviceman Tongbam Pachu, and members of COVID-19 Task Force Tentha. Rakesh Naurim and COVID-19 Task Force Tentha jointly started the Minungshi Gi Tingbang Thauram on 21st July at Tentha and had distributed essential items to families of 27 COVID positive patient, patients in the past while the distribution made today was the second. Maruwe na Manipur government ki lay riba soba hostel riba Zenims Rims Haiba hostel ani esidi yamna tasyang na COVID ki natava koi ge atopa anaba sing kete mo lahen ba yawa tu kumba hospital oina separate na thaman zeningi. Time for a short break. We'll be right back. Tamo, kaino lo sandri bo? As karanga na sa siya na hayro ko. Kaino si bo? Kaya si pinay si bo? Hi ma. Covid ki vaccine kap thos siya na ngan adu pas na hay ni dudi. As ay haksang ka stock de. Ay kapo. Nate haksang ka stock de ba ingon ida kapo kay kano? Ay kapo ay sin. Tamo, narag tring ay dana isana na seksil ho na patro. Kap thos po na pat tabra ba? Ko yare seksil man na dum kapo ro. Ay kapo. As kung dre da. Kamay ngang na doon ang kong dre. Pare, ato dito ay jalo kige. Pungo ha, mamay na kapuge ko, kapangalera mo. COVID-19, laisat asli ngak thong nubi kita mak. COVID ki vaksin kap puna, laisat asli kembali lain apa, lain apa laisat sing dekik ngak thong sebang kami. Masih dana tena, laisat asli nasi hendak nubi kita mak. Mata mata mugi, serikat nak pira pas sana kagun sing aikoi ngak nasi minerasi. COVID apps terus start topi duna, adom su suksoi suai duna vaksin asli kap thong piu. COVID ki vaksin kap thong puna, COVID lain apa iram dambu eh minerasi. Aikoi vaksin kap nasi. Welcome back, you're watching LATV English News. Social activist Inauba Nongmaitem from Kumbi Mayai Lekai Ward No. 6 served breakfast to the inmates of Community Hall Home Isolation Center of Kumbi Awang High School, Kumbi Ward No. 6 run by Kumbi Ideal Youth Development Organization, KIYDO of Bishnupur District. Inauba Nongmaitem has been giving a helping hand to the people of Kumbi who were affected by the COVID-19 pandemic since the beginning of the first wave. He also extended help to the, to the old, differently abled and families of people who had been suffering from chronic diseases. He also served breakfast to the inmates of Community Home Isolation Center of New Model Public School Kumbi on July 23rd and encouraged them. The works of Inauba Nomaitem have been greatly praised by the inmates. The COVID-19 Awareness and Enforcement Committee under the Chairman MLA P. Sarachandra today organized a mask camp COVID vaccination campaign in collaboration with COVID-19 Task Force and CHC Moirang Assembly Constituency at Moirang Khoiru Lekai. More than 350 people of Moirang Municipal Council Ward numbers 10 were vaccinated in the program that was based on the idea of unity in immunity. Workers of MLA Office Moirang, Task Force and other volunteers extended help to Doctor of CHC Moirang and paramedical staff in the program today. As part of Seva He Sangathan 2 program mass COVID vaccination program for Uribok Assembly constituency was held today at Primary Health Subcenter Iroi Simba. The vaccination program jointly organized by Awonba Uribo Kendra AUK, Iroi Shemba Youth Development Club EYDC, Iroi Shemba and Health Deve Department Government of Manipur was conducted under the supervision of Kumbong Mayum Suresh Singh, active member of BJP Manipur Pradesh. Suresh maintained that the mass vaccination program was conducted with an aim to make Uribo Assembly constituency a fully COVID-19 vac vaccinated constituency and appeal to all the people of Uribok Assembly constituency to vaccinate the COVID vaccine as vaccination is the only solution to save us from COVID virus. 
EYDC Erosion President Irom Falindro also said cash reward of 50,000 rupees will be rewarded to the first club of Uripok Assembly constituency who makes the surrounding area fully vaccinated while 30,000 rupees and 20,000 rupees will be awarded to the second and third clubs. Fulindra also appealed to every single person of the Uribo constituency to participate in the vaccination program. Commemorating World Nature Conservation Day, 44 Assam rifles under the ages of 22 sector AR slash IGARE have undertaken a massive tree plantation drive in Tamenglong district today. Awang Bao, Numai Forest Environment and Climate Change Minister, started a three-day-long plantation drive by the unit to plant 21,000 saplings. He, along with Tamenglong ADC Chairman and Commandant 44 Assam Rifles, planted a sapling each at Jadonang Park to commemorate the event. Following the Forest Minister initiative, plantation drives were undertaken by the unit troops in other parts of Tamenglong and Kangpokpi districts. Battalion carried out a large-scale plantation drive in which local varieties of saplings were planted. On this occasion, the battalion achieved a rare feat by planting approximately 11,000 saplings in a single day. The minister lighted a lamp symbolizing the start of renovation and revitalization of Jadonang Park, Tamenglong by the unit which was inaugurated by Rani Gaidin Liu in 1982. It is an important recreational center in the town. The unit will revitalize the park and dedicate it to the public as part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. On this occasion, the minister also released a pamphlet on one Mahotsav activities by the unit this year. Speaking on the occasion, the commandant of the unit expressed his concern over significant reduction in the size of forest cover in the hill district and said that now it's time to help nature heal by rewinding the earth. In continuation with the afforestation drive, where 44 Assam rifles achieved a landmark by planting 1 lakh saplings of local varieties last year, the unit has continued its efforts to protect and boost the biodiversity of the area by conducting one Mitra and one Mahotsav campaigns this year. The Meghalaya Editors and Publishers Association, MIPA, has condemned the act of Assam police for detaining five journalists from Reboy district yesterday evening. The five Meghalaya based journalists were returning to Nongpo from a village of Langkuli under Jirang constituency, Meghalaya, to cover the incident of a border conflict with Assam. They were stopped by Assam police demanding documents and then accused them of violating COVID protocols and demanded money. After they refused to pay the money, they were taken to Azara police station situated in the Meghalaya Assam border and were kept there for at least more than an hour before being released. One of the detained journalists from Reboy, Eric C. Rani, said that it was only after they called the president of the Shillong Press Club, David Lifelong, that the matter was resolved and they were let go. In a statement, the MEPA has urged Assam police to allow the journalists to perform their duties freely. Time for another short break. Stay tuned for more updates. Welcome back. Let's continue with the news update. A delegation of Assam Pradesh Congress Committee was prevented by Assam police from visiting Lelapur Bazaar close to the config zone along the Assam Mizoram border today owing to security reasons. The delegation led by newly appointed Assam PCC President Bhupen Kumar Bora was not allowed to proceed any further from Dolai Bazar in Kachar district. 
Newly posted Kashar Superintendent of Police Ramandeep Kaur said that no person or political party, regardless of affiliation, is allowed to visit the conflict zone at Lailapur due to security reasons as the situation there is still tense. Former Silchur MP Sushmita Dev told reporters at Dholai that they had come to show solidarity with the people of Lailapur who are in a state of fear and insecurity. When the chief minister, other ministers and political leaders of BJP can visit the border area, there is no reason why opposition leaders cannot do the same. The team was constituted by the All India Congress Committee to examine the situation on ground along the assam Mizoram border following Monday's major escalation leading to firing along the interstate boundary, leaving six Assam police personnel and a civilian dead and over 40 others injured. India is likely to launch its third mission to the moon, Chandrayaan-3, in the third quarter next year, with the pandemic delaying the fabrication of the spacecraft. Dr. Jitendra Singh, Minister of State for the Department of Space, said in a written answer in the Parliament that Chandrayaan-3 is likely to be launched during the third quarter of 2022, assuming normal workflow. Chandrayaan-3 mission has been planned as only a Land Rover mission to demonstrate India's capability of soft landing on a celestial body that will communicate with Earth via the existing orbiter from Chandrayaan-2, whose lifespan has been estimated to be seven years. The mission was initially scheduled for late 2020 or early 2021. However, the pandemic affected the schedule for manufacturing the modules. Bhutan has set a new record for its nationwide COVID-19 vaccination drive, managing to vaccinate 90% of its entire population with both doses of the anti-COVID shot in a matter of seven days. According to Bhutan's health ministry, the vaccines that were received from foreign donations were used up in this inoculation drive. Bhutan started vaccinating its population with the second dose of the COVID-19 shot from July 20, and within seven days, that is by yesterday, 90% of the entire population had been fully vaccinated, said the country's health ministry. Let's take a look at the headlines once again. Govindas Kuntaljam resigns from Manipur Assembly. Chief Minister launches free treatment center for hepatitis B. And 46 bird traps and 8 bird nets were seized by staff of Kapching Ring. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching LETV English News. Stay safe and have a good night.